Our well-designed and maintained field treatments can positively influence wildfire effects and fire management capabilities. We live in a fire-adopted ecosystem. Fields treatments don't prevent fires, but help us fight them. Much of the land that makes up Jackson County is national forest land. And that means that good management is essential to maintaining a safe and healthy environment. The BLM is responsible for much of this effort. They presented their progress and plans as we approach the 2022 fire season. The public lands we manage are interwoven amongst the communities and private properties in the Rogue Valley, as you know. Each year, BLM Medford District treats thousands of acres to reduce fuel loading through thinning, non-commercial and commercial, hand piling and underburning. Our fuels treatment objectives are to reduce the fuel loading and negative post-fire effects, such as widespread canopy mortality, provide strategic locations for fire personnel to safely engage wildfires and limit large fire growth, and improve overall health, forest health, and promote long-term fire resilience. Also, to modify fuels so that forests and woodlands can be easily maintained with periodic prescribed fire. I just wanted to highlight some of the fuels reduction work that we've had going on this fall and winter and that will be continuing into the spring. We've completed about 589 acres of existing piles that we've burned uh, this past fall and winter in the upper Applegate area and the Howard Prairie Reservoir area. We have an additional, uh, a, little, a little bit more than 1,100 acres that are currently under contract, um, and the work is ongoing and will be continuing for the next few months in the Upper Applegate Watershed Project area. And we also hope to add another approximately 500 acres to a contract also in the Upper Applegate Watershed area. And a lot of those units were strategically chosen um, in conjunction with the work the Forest Service is doing. So we have some units directly abutting fuels work that they're doing so we can kind of have a more landscape-wide approach um, that crosses boundaries on those fuels treatments. And then finally, we have 78 acres of underburn planned for this spring in the Thompson Creek area. Also just wanted to mention that we did complete a categorical exclusion document that allows the Jacksonville Woodlands Association and the city of Jacksonville to treat across the boundary from private land to BLM administered land for about 1.5 acre buffers in conjunction with some work that they're doing um, to treat private lands around homes. So in Butte Falls, uh, in our upcoming comment periods, we have the Trail Creek Forest Management Project. This project will uh, include both commercial timber sales and hazardous fuels reduction elements. In the implementation stage, we have our Round Oak Hazardous Fuels Reduction Project that we've been working on. We issued a decision in December of 2020 for this project. In 2021, we thinned, piled, and pile burned about 40 acres, and we have another 120 acres of thin and hand pile that's currently on contract for this year. We're, we'll be starting that in February. There's an additional 100 acres or so that we anticipate underburning. That probably will not happen until 2023. So the um, integrated veg management environmental assessment is a Medford District project that we're working on, and it will provide tools for us to treat landscapes to promote safe and effective fire management, to develop fire resilient forest stands, and improve habitat for wildlife and plants. Beyond planting, we conduct seedling shading treatments and brushing treatments to help with seedling survival. With completed NEPA in place, IBM would increase opportunities for collaborative funding of fuels reduction projects. One of the efforts we're really excited about on the district is our fuels treatment effectiveness monitoring. And since 2008, we've had several wildfires have put our treatments to the test. Through fuels treatment effectiveness monitoring, we've been able to observe and monitor the effectiveness of our treatments at moderating fire behavior and contributing to wildfire control. Between 2008 and 2021, there were 231 fuels treatments intersected by 69 fires. 62% of the time, treatment contributed to wildfire control. We also found that 69% of the time, fuels treatments moderated fire behavior. In the 13 previous years, 30 fires have started and were contained within a fuels treatment. 
We've learned that hazardous fuels reduction treatments have allowed firefighters to safely use direct attack methods due to slowed rate of fire spread and reduced fire intensity in flame lengths. Strategic treatment locations provided safe anchor points for burnouts along roads, thinned tree canopies, and increased ability for retardant and water to reach the forest floor. We live in a fire adapted ecosystem. Fuels treatments don't prevent fires, but help us fight them. The treatments increase resiliency, contribute to fire suppression efforts, and help protect communities. 